Hi guys, it's Leah or Alyssa's and welcome back to another episode of Shielded SMP. For the past month, I haven't uploaded anything and it is because I was visiting my country, the Philippines, and my birthday came up and I had some business to finish at school. So I have been quite a busy bee. But now I'm back and I'm really excited to start making videos again. But before we get started, I do want to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel because I actually just reached 4,000 subscribers. It is so crazy. I really appreciate everyone that has shown support towards my channel. I didn't expect to reach 4K so quickly. I feel like this year overall has just been productive in my career as well as my channel. And I just really appreciate you guys for showing the support and for watching my videos. Last time's episode, I actually did a bit of work, but nothing too crazy. I basically just collected the crops and I smelted a couple of iron, some copper, I killed a few things, and that's about it. I still don't even remember if I showed you guys, but I did go mining down this little area. And I think I actually saw a couple of things that we might go back to. But we're not going to go all the way down yet. I just want to show you guys around what I have been doing. So basically, if you couldn't tell already, I have taken quite a bit of damage. And now the regeneration phase is actually over. I totally missed out on it because I was obviously on vacation. But it's okay. In order for me to regain my hearts back, I have to either craft a potion of regeneration or at least craft a golden apple and I think the golden apple might be the easiest way. I'm just gonna take some of these carrots just in case I get hungry. So last time's episode, I did build this farm and also this little hut over here, but off camera, I actually started to expand my area a little bit. Anyway, so I started to add little details around my area and basically in my teleportation area, I added a few things around. So here I added just your simple, regular, basic dock and I added a little campsite this way and I actually started putting these hedges around the area. I don't know if I like it, but I just wanted to add something to make it feel alive so that when I came back, it wasn't super flat. And it looks like somebody actually gave us something. Oh my gosh, wait, okay. We'll come back to that later. But I also added these thinking it would be cool to decorate it with like coral and stuff, but it doesn't look anything like coral now that I'm looking at it. So I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> Aside from that, I am really, really broke and I don't have anything going for me. All I have is this iron ingot and everything that I basically got from the shulker box last time. And honestly, that is really it. And I also picked up this um, rusted great helm from a skeleton, but it's not gonna do much for us. So it looks like we got 10 golden apple and potions of healing. Whoever gave me this, you are a literal blessing. Dear travelers of the universe, I would like to inform you that the game has become a bit more challenging. Your region will no longer function as before. To aid you in this new difficulty, here's a little gift. Oh my gosh, thank you Z. Okay, I'm just gonna get... Well, I'm gonna leave this here in case anybody else wants to, you know, send me some... <laughs> mail um in case anyone was feeling generous um but this is gonna be so helpful because i don't have a lot of golden apples and obviously we've already taken hearts but right now i think my goal is actually to go mining and try and make my life a little bit easier because we don't have any armor other than that, I just cleared up some of the trees in this area, but I don't know if we're gonna get to building today. Um, I also started to make this like kind of cute little bridge cave over here, but it's not much right now if you couldn't tell. Um, we'll just place a few more. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not much right now, but hopefully it's gonna be something later. Okay, I think the best thing that we can do with this iron ingot is actually make ourselves a shield that way we don't die but honestly i forgot how to make a shield um let's go ahead and click this recipe shield we're just gonna make this shield i think this is like the best way to not get hit so we're gonna put that there 
and we're also going to bring some golden apples, potions of healings, and also these carrots. And we're gonna equip our shield. I know we don't look the best right now, but we literally cannot afford anything else. So, it's fine. And then I'm also gonna leave some wood here. And I think we're ready to go down this mine. Okay, I might have forgot that the mine was actually an amethyst cluster. But I do see in the map that there's a couple of places that we can go to. And I'm honestly just gonna dig because I do need the resources anyway. So a lot of this is gonna be digging. So, um, you know, what is that? What is that sound? Did you guys hear that? <gasps> Ew, that sounds scary. Okay, um, I'm really scared. But I think I'm just gonna pick a direction, which will be this way. Okay, I just come across some rotten. I'm not sure what it's gonna do for us, but we're gonna search it up. Oh, we've just come across some iron, which I will gladly take. Because we need every piece of iron that we can get, and I hope to come across more. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I already hear some bad guys, and... I don't even know if I want to attempt this. Um, I basically feel like I'm having some server block right now. Like block lag. So I'm a little bit scared to like open up an area. So I'm going to try and go slow. And I'm going to play it super safe. Because we obviously don't have a lot of golden apples. And I'm a little bit scared about the lag. I'm not super afraid of dying. Because I know that the permanent that happens after the third episode or on the third episode but as much as possible i really would like to not die so that's the goal but we did just find some more iron which there's actually a lot of in this cluster but up ahead i do hear a little scary witch and a mob that i'm not quite familiar with so I'm pretty scared, and I'm also scared of this block lag, so I'm gonna have to try and be very careful. What is that? What is that sound? Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Okay. Alright, we're gonna light it up. And I do see the switch, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this golden apple if it lets me. I just have to try to dodge her potions. Basically, is what I have to do. <gasps> oh, we actually killed her and she dropped some sugar. So we have to remember that the three torches are where we came from. Otherwise, we're gonna get lost. Um, yeah, so. This looks really interesting though. There's so many ores that I'm seeing already. Golden Harmony. I'm gonna come back for this because it's near the entrance. We're just gonna take a handful of redstone. Or actually, I don't think that's redstone at all. Oh my gosh. The gravel, hello? Blood Diamond? Interesting. I feel like this is such a very colorful world. And everywhere I look, there's so many ores that I've never seen before. And it just makes me want to grab literally everything. So, yeah. <laughs> um, got something called Emeraldite. And I'm gonna just grab as much as I can of them. Because I don't know what kind of armor we can make. And there's also these um, crystals called Amethystium. Or Amethystium. And I basically just got a full inventory. So I think we're gonna go back up the surface. And I think I'm gonna use this as my main cave source. Because there looks to be a couple of interesting things around the map. But I just don't think I'm so ready to take them on because of you. Oh, there's a structure. Okay, we're gonna take on that once I have armor and things like that crafted. Because as of right now, I'm not very confident. Um, <gasps> yeah, no. Uh, 
I'm not confident, but there's a few interesting things. And I'm hearing some footsteps, so we are gonna go and head back to the surface. <coughs> um, so that just happened, but no fret, we do have more lives to spare. Well, technically not, it's just because the permanent that doesn't happen until episode 3 to give people a chance to, you know, gather all their things. And I'm hearing this, um, wandering trader and llamas? And I did just see that box over there and I do want to check it out because it is actually from Sunny. Hello! Okay. What are you selling? Just some decoration. Ooh, a snow blossom sapling. Pretty, um useless things if i do say so myself oh wait this is really bad why did i do this actually i just realized they could spit on me <laughs> oh, no. okay okay cool 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 okay 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 why did i actually just do that you need to die so you can drop your lead and i need your leads thank you so much okay <laughs> what is even this okay Stop! I know there's two! Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> okay, let me get out of here. This is getting a little scary. But oh my gosh, Sunny made this look so pretty. I want to check it out, but maybe after the llamas are done spitting at me. Because we're gonna die. And also, when I wasn't recording and I was gathering some stuff and smelting all my things, a freaking zombie, I think it was a zombie, literally came in through this door. And just broke down this door. I didn't know that was possible. I think it might be a mod in here or something. Um, and I literally got so scared. Good thing I had some help to spare. So I didn't end up dying. But that's something I have to watch out for. So yeah. Oh my god. Okay. They're not mad. I mean, they're not done being mad. So anyways, I have been smelting some stone. Anyway, I think they're gone, but I have just been smelting my life away, smelting a ton of stone because it's what I want to use for like, do you want to do like a stone dome house situation, but it's going to be a work in progress for sure. But first, I do want to see what Sunny has got us. So it was actually my birthday on August 10 and Sunny gave us a little gift that says happy late birthday and oh, this is so cute. Potion of regeneration. Okay. Thank you so much, first of all. I'm definitely gonna need that. We also got some amethyst shards. Also, a ring of mana, which I'm gonna have to look into soon. Put this on, I think, like this. Yes. I'm not sure what I need mana for just yet, but we're gonna do some research. And we're gonna take this chest. Thank you so much, Sunny, for your gift. Oh my gosh, I am so happy because this is making my little hobbit hole so cute because... It was really not giving anything before, so I'm gonna keep this here. I don't really have a nice place to put this plushie, so we're gonna put it here for, you know, our comfort plushie. This is just, this is adorable. I can't really tell what this is, though. Is this a bunny? Yes, it is a bunny plushie. <laughs> um, um, I see it with the ears, but it's kind of funny looking on the, the front side. <laughs> This is the plan. I'm just gonna smelt my oak logs and turn them into charcoal so that we could smelt the rest of these. But honestly, it's gonna be a mixture of stone and cobblestone. So what I could do is maybe just do like a little layout thing, I guess. But I really have no clue what I'm gonna do for this house, honestly. Um, I just knew that I wanted to do something like domey, but not too big. And more like on the natural side, so... We're gonna do that, but I just don't know where. I think that this could be a good spot right here, but I do need to clear some of the area out. <laughs> there was this weird necromancer thing, also a skeleton and a zombie while I was working at my house and I wanted to give you guys a little update. So originally I was gonna do a dome house sort of around here, but I felt like it wasn't enough space. So I actually completely changed up my idea. So I decided to open this up and I figured I would make this build 
big enough to the point I could have lots of rooms, but also small enough so that boats can go through and squeeze through in some areas. So this is what it looks like so far. I did place down some dirt blocks just to get around easier, but so far it's just pillars of where the main corners are going to go. And here is going to be one room, over here is going to be one room, and over here will be one room. Anyway, I am really trying to push for getting this house done this episode because these deaths have been crazy. I expected to die, but not this much in one episode and honestly, I'm sort of disappointed. I guess before we go on, I'm gonna go and take my bed with me everywhere and I also would like to actually craft some armor because, you know, some of the stuff that we've smelted like the iron, they should be ready, and I realize I really don't have protection at all. But anyway, so we are just gonna craft a few things, and I wanna try to prioritize armor as much as possible, so I don't think we can actually do anything with these crystals. A spyglass, I definitely think we should make a spyglass though, and let's see. Oh my god, this amethyst lab, it is so cute. I wanna use this for building, so... We're gonna put that, but for now, I think that's all that we can really make that would be useful to us. So we'll leave it at that, but I do want to make a lot of these items. I'm really loving, like, all of these amethyst things. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. I'm gonna start crafting armor and start putting it on because we are in danger. And we have died way too much this episode, and I don't want to deal with that. There you go, we got iron armor for the second episode and hopefully that's enough to keep us alive in the next few episodes. And just in case actually, I'm gonna go ahead and craft two iron swords and I will be leaving one in my backpack. Here, so next is the spyglass. I think that I'm gonna go and drink this potion of regeneration right now just because we are at really low hearts, okay? And I'm also gonna open my rewards from my death boxes. And this one just gave me a grave dust. And this one gave me a curse of bones. Okay, I'm not really sure how we could use those items for now. But hopefully later on, we get some good stuff out of it. Okay, I had to look for the button. But I was actually talking about the knowledge of that. And we do have some levels from dying. So we can unlock a couple of things. So last time I did an alchemist. But obviously that is really not helpful to me right now. So I want to do something a little bit more interesting. And also something that I would actually use right now. I'm actually going to do gladiator. And it basically increases the damage and reduces the received damage. Because we are obviously just trying to survive. Okay. Um, I'm gonna mess around with all this stuff later, so we're gonna go back to the house area and I think I'm just gonna gather as much materials as I can because we don't have a lot. For the most part, I'll be using some stone bricks with a mixture of these cobblestone bricks and just regular old cobblestone. And I think that will basically be the base of our base. I also have to gather some sand for some glasses and panels that I want to do. But I'm just going to keep you guys updated since it's taking me a long time to kind of decide on what I want to do. Hello! So I was meaning to actually update you guys. But I ended up just building my life away because... Look at my health already. It is so freaking low. That I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna get this house done. So I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. Basically, I expanded this pathway a little bit over here. And this is how my house looks like. I'm growing the grass currently. And they are slowly but surely spreading. But I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the place. Got this walkway here. And we got some wall going. And we're still gonna do a lot of things over here. So this area is a work in progress. But over here, if we go... There is more pathways here that's going to lead to this area for expansion. And the first room over here will be the storage room. And we have kind of like an aquarium view for this, which I think is really nice. Uh, at the moment, it does look just kind of dark and messy, but I plan to make it all pretty at the bottom later. And I'm going to fix up the storage once I get the chance. Over here, this is going to be my main room and also just some collectible things that I want to store 
and over here is most likely going to be like the kitchen, the foods, and sort of like a workshop room and everything. So it's very practical. Um, I did just want this house to have the main things that I was going to do for the series. But over time, we're going to expand our buildings and we're going to have new buildings growing and popping up here and there. So I'm really excited for that. I just really wanted to get myself situated so I'm quite happy with this I know it's not the best thing but I did have a late start and I really got on only one time before you know the second episode because um, I had went on vacation but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out um, we finally have a roof over our heads so that's like the most important part and basically I'm gonna do some work off camera and just really hope that I don't die because I think next episode or the episode after that will be permanent death so i'm gonna have to do some mining on my own time and hopefully not die but i want to keep you guys updated and as of right now we're gonna go through our statistics okay sorry i got a little bit confused but as of right now we have four deaths in total i believe all deaths were from this episode um i do have it on my waypoint but it just says latest and old debt which i'm going to delete now well, that is going to be it for today's episode. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm so sorry it's taken me so, so long to get an episode out, but I'm back from my trip and I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas or tips on hardcore, let me know down below and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye!